Uh, two things. The guy did the quest for fire before that and then the dream scenes. The dream scenes, where it's animated, actually work, I think, because uh, if you had a more human-like uh, memory of a dream, uh, I don't think it would work. What would, what would uh, a bear dream about? Well, that it looks more like something from a Rankin-Bass, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer kind of animals. Like it, there's the scene where the mother bear, you see that, and then then you see, uh, was it birds or bees that are flying around? And, and, you know, when he went to eat some honey, he's now dreaming of bees. That seems a skewed reality, but it's... Uh, 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 since bears are smart creatures, but they're not as smart as, as monkeys, they're not as smart as whales, but they're smarter, presumably, than in a sense, maybe some of the dogs or, or cats might be, that it, it's somewhere midway between what an, uh, a lesser animal and a human might dream. So it, it works there. The interesting thing is, the only other film that I knew about this fellow, the French director, whose name's left my mind now, um, is that he directed Quest for Fire, which to me was one of the more laughably bad uh, uh, K films out there. And it's a it's a bad film, not because it, it, you know it's it's better in a sense than something like One Million BC, where Raquel Welch is a cave woman, you know, walking around in a uh, a leather bikini. <laughs> but but by the same token, if you've ever seen Quest for Fire, it's it's a silly mishmash of things about how the first humans. <laughs> The, the problem with it too is is the outfits that they're wearing, whatever it is, yeah. it's sort of like Jim Henson in yeah. the cape. Yeah, <laughs> so you can't take it seriously. It's not like with two thousand one with the uh, the yeah. primal scenes where you see the apes, and yes, they're played by actors, but yeah. they at least move and act like apes. This yeah. is uh, very silly. Yeah, it, there's also a film I think. Uh, uh, who's that girl from? You remember the movie Ten with Dudley yeah. Moore? Yeah, oh, Derek. Yeah, I think she did one. Uh, it was also set in British Columbia, yeah. although it didn't look like British Columbia, and it was uh, also a laughable uh, cave film. Yeah, well, <laughs> Bo Derek is not a noted actress, but uh, anyway. <laughs> well, trying to see her emote as a monkey is even worse. Mm.